This might just qualify as the most ironic sales pitch in South Africa right now. The West Coast might be synonymous with fishing, but quaint holiday homes and expensive developments are the only things in abundance here today. The government says fish stocks are collapsing. Stringent new controls are needed to save what's left. In the traditional fishing communities, the strict new measures have brought a harvest of resentment. As you on that sea to run, you just for all of four weeks in the strand, men are fang. I'm going to cost on the club up for the ballot. You come here and stick a stick a stick on. That's it, also, so take. You can have next mark here and I am a pat. Da ga je tronk doen. Wie wil nou nog tronk doen gaan? Je zal je ook daal. Dus ik wat afgepind zijn, dus van en de sier. Padre Noster is probably South Africa's most famous fishing village, except that very little fishing goes on here these days. Padre Noster came into being to provide labour for the big cray fishing companies in the 50s. Today, cray fishing is still the big money spinner, but for the ordinary fisher folk, net and handline fishing are the way they make money and put food on the table. Except now, hardly any are allowed to fish. Ons was hier in die 30, wat aan toe gedoen het. En, maar met die ongelukkigheid, het daar geen een van ons. Die opal in ons sociaal, is daar, is daar niemand wat een uh, permit gekregen het. Die, 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 die vormaakje wat ons hier gestuk het, ons is 64 man, ons het een, een permit gekregen. En, 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 dat is niet liefdesvatbaar voor ons niet. Je kan niet zitten toe gaan nie. Je kan niet gaan vis vangen. So, dat was ooit op een drie wieso. Dus dat kan ons groter worden. Dat is ooit en dat is ooit de tijd nog. Die ooit was dan krijgt de trek hulle. Die het hulle diepe drie van haar trek. En alle we zijn wat alles maar afgevat. Want dat is een meel is dit voor mannen. Voor zijn mensen is zo. Dat zijn mensen wat bouw en kapenten en dat werk doen niet. Dat is mensen wat ze inkomsten net in de ziet is. Nou vat hulle daar weg van die mensen af. Hulle vertrap die mensen recht aan aanboorde. Hulle vat weerskeping. Weg van die mensen. Hulle vertrap mensen armoede in. Er zijn nou een gekregen, dat is het alright, maar hier daar niks gekregen nie. Niemand heeft niks gekregen nie. Kijk hoe ze die mannen niet zo. Maar mannen moet nou net zetten, kijk hoe het gaan. Van ons het maar nou die vis en kijk, en ons gaan niks doen nie. En s'ochtends moet ons maar nou opstaan, en s'avonds moet ons maar nou bed toe gaan. En, 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 en maar so op die hebel sit en hier sê die water aan skou. Oké. Okay. Minister Vali Musa is the King Solomon in this tale. He is the man who decides who gets and who doesn't. But no amount of wisdom will make everyone happy. The point is to have fewer people catching less fish. What we try to do with the regulations is to ensure that we, we harvest the maximum possible fish from the ocean, but more, not more than that which would allow the fish to restore the stocks. We don't want to do it in a manner which, where we overfish and in a few years time there will be no fish whatsoever. Three years ago, the scientists at Marine Coastal Management alerted the minister to a crisis. They said South Africa's inshore fish were on the brink of commercial collapse. The minister declared an emergency. That announcement has now reached its logical conclusion. It's playing itself out in this secured room in the Cape Town offices of Marine Coastal Management. Here, stringent new fishing rights are being allocated. On the walls are reminders of the storm around them. So some species are managed by quotas, others are managed by simply allowing a limited number of fishermen onto it. And when you add all that together, you have a, a fairly well uh, managed fishery system. And we do that because we have seen how in other parts of the world, especially in Europe and in the Americas, there has been overfishing and, and a virtual depletion of the fish stocks in some of those areas, and we don't want to be in that situation in South Africa. There is always um, a complaint that they don't have enough fish and don't make enough money. Um, there's always a cry for more fish in order to create more jobs. But I think uh, we have a responsibility and so uh, we need to consider the environmental uh, impact uh, of this industry. The minister could just leave it, in which case uh, we would be looking at complete commercial extinction and in the worst case total biological extinction, 
or he could say hang on enough is enough let's reduce the fishing effort now and let's try to recover these fish populations and that that's the intelligent option that he's taken <laughs> Back in Pater Noster, the fishermen are reluctant to buy the scientific arguments. In fact, they refuse to buy the argument. They gather on the hill overlooking the sea and the unused boats and debate their fate. Das ist die fast kommen nicht sicher Zeit, was die hier bei uns kommen. So ist alle noch in den Winter. Da ist die Winter fast noch vorbeigelaufen. Die hat die gelaufen. Nun kriege ich in den Sommer, kriege ich noch wieder schwacker Teilungen. Aber nicht sehr lange, die sind die Fischrag minder hin. Ich kann eigentlich nicht mehr etwas betreiben, die ich nicht so spät Orte verschwange. Und Arach trägt nicht, das kann ich nicht mehr sehen. Das soll die Regierung sein. Das ist auch ein paar Jahre. Zo is het die vissen daar niet zie, maar dan begrijp ik wat. Nou komt nou Willem, hij praat van de bron in de roei. Vissen te sterren, hij is een zekere tijd wat hij hier is een zekere raak hij weg. Daar gaat broeien. Hoe kan hij van uit de roei? Hij kan staan te voelen, hij trekt zijn ton in die 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 spalit. Dat is bij je vis. Die aardig zijn hier zo voor vele maas kan het je vangen. Die aardig bron is die echt niet uitje. Hij is een bitter eilig. Vis is nog genoeg. Zal daar nog iemand echt iets weg? These St. Helena Bay fishermen are the lucky few in their community who did receive net fishing rights. But they have another whole set of concerns. Firstly, they say they don't have the money they need to fetch the permits in Cape Town. We have been in the past 10 years. We have been in the past 10 years, and we have been in the past 10 years. What I have been doing for my own permit is 500 rand. Het is ook onsuccesvol. Toen moet ik weer een appel aan tikken. Toen kreeg ik hem nu. Maar nu moet ik weer deze drie aan betalen. Om hem weer af te halen. En ik heb die dag geld. Dat betekent dat ons, zoals het nu reeds hier honger leeg. Voor het nog altijd zal honger leeg. Als de ene of de andere gemaakt zal honger leeg. Want die mensen, daar wordt ons blij. Die, 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 die mensen, daar wordt ons blij. Alle kijk voor ons. En dan komen die mannen met die vis. Dan komen ze bijna, dan komen ze aan boer en zeggen, maar daar is die vis niet. Dan moeten ze maar weer terug te rijden. Dat is een zwaar story. Dat is een bijna zwaar story. Die mensen krijgen honger. Die kinderen gaan niet meer school door een reality. Want als ze kost veel aan de ijs. Dan ben ik drie dagen bij de ijs blijven in de week. Tot dat ik kost, dan kan ze weer. Die mensen zeggen ons alleen voor de groeien voor zijn. Ik weet niet of dat waar is niet, maar alles is zo. Ons alleen voor ze is die mensen waar die vis in groeien. Ik geloof niet dat aan niet. Want mijn pa heeft een paar jaar op zich gewerkt. Hij maakt het die witte gemaakt, kende die zeewater. Voor hij geboren is, toen vangen mensen al snoep. En dan vangen nou nog snoep. En snoep wordt er echt gegroeid. Toen hij maar nog die wetten gaat maken, hij kent niet zien wat hij Hij weet niet wat hij praat. For many years, these men used to work the boats for a boat owner. When he left St. Helena, he gave them the boats to work for themselves. Now they say the government's new rule that every fisherman is to get only one kind of permit is destroying the life they've built for themselves. They say they can't survive only from net fishing. They need to be able to catch fish with hand lines in those times when the net fish are scarce. Now we can't catch snoop, we can't catch water, we can't catch our beer license. I'm happy, I was one of the first ones that I got my net fish permit, but we look at all the time for our beer license. A short way up the coast is Faldruf. Here, net fishers have traditionally made a living from dried fish called bokums. But the famous fish houses along the river are also in trouble. Most of the fishermen here have not been given rights. The only fish available has been bought in from one of only four rights holders. This fish house used to employ 14 people. Now these two men are the only ones left with jobs. 
voor enige het een aanzoek gedoen en het is een onsuccesvol voor geweest. En nou zit ons, ons kan niet weer aanzoek doen nie, want we wachten in 2005 toe. En die mensen kan niet twee jaar van haar werk zitten. Nie. Het kan niet, het alleen die geld nodig. Wat, wat moet gebeuren tussen tijd? Dit is onze werkschepping niet. Dit is ons, dit is die mensen, ze brood en boter weg van die tafel. Daarvoor moeten die mensen leven. In the fish house next door, there are even less fish. Desperation hangs in the air. After 50 years in the business, the owner says he doesn't know how much longer he can hold on. His biggest gripe, those who did get rights are people with other income. So as we die for the right people who have been able to have the right people, then they would have enough to have the right people. They would have enough to have the right people for the right people who have been able to have the right people. But now for the right people who have been able to have the right people. Well, so I think I'm going to come from the right people. And I think I'm going to have the right people to go to the right people to go to the right people. Nou zit ik in een dilemma. Ik kan niet vis krijgen. Nie. Ik mag zelf niet vis vangen. Ik kan niet geld met mijn mensen. Ik moet mijn mensen betalen. Ik kom niet inkomsten en die, die, die bezigheid in. Ik zit, ik kan niks maken. Nie. Ik is helemaal maar moedeloos. Ik is, ik is al raad op. Man. During the summer holiday season, tourists flock to the west coast. The fish drying houses along the river in Faldruf are a main attraction. But this year the prospects are bleak. In the week we were there, one owner had already advised four tour groups not to come. Pater Noster finds itself in the same situation. They also expect the tourists to disappear along with the fish. It has long traded on its quaint fishing village image. On the beach stands a monument to the status, a brand new fish market. Ironically, it was built by government with a poverty alleviation fund. But this market has no fish, and the fishermen have no jobs. Even the fish and chips shop has to buy frozen fish from the big factories elsewhere. Back in the city, things aren't any simpler. This is Hart Bay in Cape Town, another part of the world famous for its fishing and its picturesque harbour. But in Imzanu Yetu Township, the fishermen tell a dark tale of greed and exploitation. After 1994, the new government encouraged black participation in the fishing industry. They made it clear that companies with black representation would be favored when it came to quotas. And so the fishermen say their identities were used by companies to get fishing rights that have brought them nothing. Every fisherman in this group can show at least one share certificate in at least one fishing company. Yet there's been only the odd payment. Man <laughs> Because Two 
Sifumana Malungelo, where to Equata Zeta Snake, Tinas of Tongalipo, Sakwas, Quagabonos Kipara, Jangam Banding would drive on well. Inga Gapicoyo, Equata, Ifumaniki, Gogo Imali, Aizi Wood, Niagara was posed along. Niagara was posed along as Kai Fumanitin, Uti, I knew Funella Nina, that you will Funella Yen, Uti will Funella Tina. Koto aikezi kuti ise kuye unyaga wesposo lo ipa kuye ye trust magasi nige malisi tengeli boat se kuwa zuguo banat iyo na dosi kala ya ba ukulimende lo ukulimende ma ukulima le ye difference le ye trust se zokuwa zuguo tengeli zindo se zpuna se kuwa zuguo begalwani se kuwa nzuki ba la banjo ba la jada bezetele. Ntobeko Kutuka is confused, angry and unemployed. He, like all the other fishermen in the township, says he's been misled by community leaders. He can't understand how a few got so rich from fishing. Yet those who've worked the sea all their lives have nothing. And like everyone else here, he wants to know what his ID number was used for. Muniba Isaacs understands this confusion better than anyone. She's a researcher at the University of the Western Cape and is writing her doctorate on transformation in the fishing industry. So what happened was that the, the fishermen put their trust within the local leaders and throughout the process dated back from 1992 more and more people saw that this is an opportunity for money to, for self-enrichment process and they saw it for, for, for them to enrich themselves personally than to share it to, to, to the fishermen. If you say to us that there are people in Hout Bay that have been exploited, it is incumbent upon them to come to us and inform us about it. We will do the necessary investigation and we will put a team onto an investigation like that. Fishermen have been misled through the process from 1994 up to now to form into, into cooperatives, to form into community organizations, to form into companies. And, and one way or another you would find, I would find fishermen that I've interviewed that they would belong to five different organizations. So fishermen would knowingly or unknowingly have, have, have formed part of organizations and, and, and most probably marine and coastal management have access to this information that they are part of the one way or another part of the, of, 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 of the system. On various occasions we do get uh, informed about either misappropriation of, um, of company business and shares and stuff like that and also where people have been exploited and where untruthful matters have been put on somebody's uh, application form. We have then a verification unit that goes out to verify the accusations. If we discover that there was any kind of wrongdoing, those rights have been taken out. And right now we're in a process of that sort of scrutiny and we have received tip-offs from members of the public, from people in the fishing villages who know uh, who are the real fishermen as such and we're using that to weed out uh, uh, those that shouldn't have got rights in the first place. The men from Hart Bay have tried for years to find answers. Perhaps now marine and coastal management will help them get clarity. In the meantime, there's good news for others who feel left out of the process. I will be sending the officials of the department to find those people who have been left destitute. And we will grant fishing rights to those individuals directly. They will not need to go through a company. So for the first time, ordinary fishermen will be empowered directly. He or she will hold the right to fish. Uh, not the company which he was working for. I think that we would be able to satisfy all of those traditional fishermen and women who rely on the ocean for their livelihood. If the minister pulls this off, he might still make allies of the traditional fishing communities instead of enemies. And allies are what's needed to save our oceans from those who live off its fruits. Desperate people will do desperate things Hungry people will take from the sea even that which the government says doesn't belong to them. Water? Uh, 
Sakrakus. Tai svarbu poiki kos variantai. Svarbu poiki kos variantai. Kai? Vos vergi. En kos eta per mat nuora, ma vos edi hiard vela per matina munos ma stil. Ma kan i mensi gira ni fang ni? Asa la vos fang, amut la vos ma fang. Was voor fang voor ogen voor mensen? Was voor ogen vier vrouw mensen van de achter. Was afgehaald van die. Er zijn vier vrouwen mensen die hagen vang. En dat is ook mensen wat die werken en ons is afhankelijk van die zier. Ons blij alle jaren niet zien. Ons is drie goed uit ons. Alle jaren vrijelijk afgehaald, maar nu is het permit nodig. En ons werken, we hebben ons geen keer wat een permit.